Now that my class notebook has been created inside my Social Studies 8D team, let's start organizing this class notebook. So again, remember you can view your class notebook by going to your team, clicking on the general channel, and then clicking on the class notebook tab. Once the class notebook has loaded, you will see the class notebook toolbar underneath your team tabs. Notice the view of the class notebook. Right now, you're just seeing inside the main page or the welcome page. To expand this view, the simplest way is to click on this purple arrow here to the left. Notice that that shows me all of my sections that are currently in my notebook, as well as the pages that are inside, in this case, the first section, the welcome section. Now, I can also open this expanded view by clicking on View in the toolbar, clicking on the drop down for navigation options and clicking Show Sections and Pages. So let's get started by organizing our collaboration space. Notice that when I click on Collaboration Space and I click on that first section using the Collaboration Space, you will see the standard view of the Collaboration Space that you are used to seeing in OneNote Class Notebook. Here, you can start setting up your own sections. It is completely up to you what sections you would like to create. Maybe you'd like to create a section for each unit or each chapter um, for a group discussion or whole class discussion. Maybe you'd like to create individual sections for each group in your class you can create sections inside the collaboration space by simply clicking on insert in the toolbar and clicking new section. Enter a section name and click OK. Notice that new section has been created underneath the introduction using the collaboration space. And again, you can create as many new sections as you'd like. Inside each section, you will be given one page that is currently named Untitled. You can change the title of that page by simply clicking on the page and typing above this line and the date. You can also create new pages inside your sections by again clicking on a section and then clicking New Page and you can give that page a title as well. When creating sections in the collaboration space, keep in mind that this area or these sections you've created are open to everyone in the class to add their ideas, post questions, or work collaboratively on tasks. If you do set up a section for each group in your class so that those students in the group can collaborate, Keep in mind that the whole class still has access to each of those sections. This is a great opportunity to teach digital citizenship and set expectations for acceptable use of sections in the collaboration space.